Brianna. And I'm Izzy. And we did our project on Rufus Stokes, an African American inventor that he created an air purification device. And that's what we tried to recreate. So this is about Rufus Stokes. Rufus Stokes grew up in the rural south and attended public school in Alabama until he was 18 years old. On November 5, 1940, just before just before receiving his high school diploma, Rufus Stokes enlisted in the U.S. Army at Fort Benning, Georgia in the Quartermaster Corps. In the Army, he attended a technical school where he received auto mechanic training. And he, developed, he deployed in Western Europe and served uh, per permanently in the Ryan. Campaign upon his discharge, he was de decorated with a American Defense Service Medal, at European, Amer African, Middle e Eastern Campaign Medal, and Good Conduct Conduct Medal. When leaving the military, Stokes met met ba <laughs> Bessie Lee Knight, his future future wife, at, of Camp Hill, Alabama, when she was attending Tuskegee Institute. Army records indicate that he was married at the time of his discharge in 1940. And this is about his air purification device. He later created a smaller domestic version of a larger mobile version of the air purification device to show its versatility. This device further reduced the ash emissions of furnace and power plant smokestack emissions. Moreover, it was not limited by design and configuration meaning that its efficiency remained e excellent regardless of indus industrial 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 or residential applications. This was not true what oh sorry. This is not true of a typical air pol uh, pollution te te control technologies such as el electrostatic I'm sorry. Electrostatic precipitators, bag houses, and wet scrubbers. The large device was utili utilized these approaches. The more cumbersome I can't say this. And the more cumbersome and inefficient it became, the core of Stokes technology was a unique unique util utilization of what described as Three T's: temperature, time, and turbulence. In his patent applications, U.S., Germany, and Japan, he provided only data sufficient to obtain patent approval. Other critical processes involving variations of physics were not revealed, but they nevertheless manifest in demonstrations to mun municipal, state, and federal offices, officials, and engineering films such as A.T. Kearney, the ability of APC 100 to convert particular matter in toxic gases resulting from the burning of rubber tires and other stuff to steam was a consistent source of entry to those who witnessed this operation. 